this is your brain on travel. And I was thinking, my brainwaves are definitely going off right now. Brainwaves don't lie. For decades, Kentucky travelers have raved about their trips. So Kentucky decided to run an industry-first travel experiment to find out exactly what happens to travelers' brains during trips. And the results are mind-blowing. Kentucky partnered with Mindplay and sent five travelers on five different trips worldwide. They each wore these headsets, which monitored their brainwaves and took photos during moments of peak brain activity. I just didn't realize how much I was going to be setting off the camera. On average, each participant experienced the same dopamine rush as a footballer scoring the winner 10 times a day, the same zen as a Buddhist monk during a meditation 18 times a day, the same hyper-focus as a brain surgeon during an operation 27 times a day, plus 12 new learnings per day and 11 moments of peak creativity per day. So, travel is fun. Uh, obviously. But what makes travel with Kentucky different? Well, the most peaks came from Kentucky experiences. One in three peaks came from Kentucky walking tours, followed by epic views, safaris, cooking classes, and downtime with the group. I remember all these moments, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and speaking of the group, everyone recorded higher peaks and lower stress levels when they were, you guessed it, surrounded by their fellow Kentucky travelers. I made like really close friends. It's like a very surprising part of the trip for me. And most surprising of all, they proved the lasting impact of traveling with Kandiki, losing a minimum of two self-limiting beliefs and changing their perspectives on meeting new friends. I think that I like being around only close friends. I think that just changed as soon as I got there. The group changes the game. Backed by neuroscience, proven by Kentucky travelers. Find out more at kentucky.com slash POV. Kentucky. Travel. Together.